Reading host Crystal Palace looking to build on their victory away to Leicester City. Last time out, their top scorer, Gilfie Sigurdsson, has left the club since then, though, joining Hoffenheim in a £6 million deal. Shane Long. Good turn of pace from the Irishman. Into the penalty area, brought down by McCarthy. And it's a penalty. Scored just once in his last 18 games for club and country, but confidently tucks home the penalty. And Reading are in front against the Crystal Palace side. Perezic plays the ball in for Long. Long's brought down. And it's another penalty. Julian Bennett, the offender this time. And Keith Hill points to the spots. It's a booking for Bennett. And a chance to mark his debut with a goal. Rarely does he miss from the spots. And he converts this one to last season's top scoring defender in English football makes it 2-0 12 minutes to go as the Sun makes an appearance in this part of Lancashire Kebe on to Long counter attack could be on here oh Darrell Russell has failed Jay Long he's already been booked North End down to 10 men I again look the players of the Ireland went into our strafe and the strike is Какой красавец Акинфеев спасает, а здесь не спасает. Так, считанные минуты, все переворачивается. Блестяще сыграл Акинфеев, великолепнейший сейф. Но почему же второй то раз позволил нанести удар? И кто забил? Шейн Лонг продавливает здесь Денисова. Денисов что-то только какие-то претензии партнерам предъявляет. Но Денисов упустил Лонга. Итак, еще раз сейф от Инфеева. И вот здесь Лонг, что называется, действительно продавливает. Штрафную. И э, не стоит, наверное, Игорь спешить. Бернли proudly boasts the best home record in the championship so far this season. They've dropped just two points on their own turf at Turf Moor. So Brian Laws is men the favourite against the Reading team who've been beaten in their last two matches. And it's nudged forward for Shane Long. Leon Court is with him. Long goes down just inside the penalty area. It's a nervous glance at the referee who points to the penalty spot. He will pick himself up to take the penalty and score the penalty. Perfectly placed in the bottom corner. And Shane Long... Gives Reading the perfect start. Only his second goal of the season. Long. Pulled down by Leon Courts. He could be in trouble here. He's already been booked as Courts. And the referee is shaping as if to show a second yellow card. Which would leave Burnley two goals to nil down. And a man down. Leon Court is sent off for a second yellow card. Robson Canoe will keep this one in. To the feet of Shane Long. Pulls it back and it's touched in on the line by Mikel Antonio. Reading have surely wrapped it up now. Five minutes from time. The substitute's only been on the field for three minutes. And the simplest of finishes. Robson Canoe and Shane Long combining to play him in. Antonio touches home the goal. Good hit by Shane Long and Reading are back in it. Really caught hold of that one. Shane Long scores his third goal of the season. And at 2-1 there is hope for the Royals. Still over 20 minutes to play. Really good hit. Long. Does get beyond the outstretched foot of Blake. Not a bad ball in and a superb save. The late kickoff in the championship sees Reading look to climb above Norwich City, who occupy one of the playoff positions coming into this weekend. A victory would see the Royals move above the Canaries. They've been going well since winning promotion from League One last season. Long gets past his man and a good save. John Reddy had to be at his best to keep out Shane Long there. Got slightly lucky with a bounce off Fox. This has turned out to be as Long gets into the area. Long tumbles under the challenge and it's a penalty. Norwich City 
will point their finger at the referee as to how they've let Reading back into this game long brought down inside the area he dusts himself down for the spot kick and he scores just past the hour and Reading make it 3-3 and you would have to say the home side now and it was him who created it Shane Long talk us through this penalty decision yeah as Kevin said before John O'Shea stepped out from the fence and you know Long has used his strength and pace there he's been he's been quite clever because as soon as he's got in front of Hangel on he's, he's made it very difficult for him and made him make a decision whether he takes him down or, or lets him have a, a shot on goal and, and to be fair to me in the end it's a, it's a clear penalty and he puts it away with, with some style to be fair yeah, he scored at the weekend for Reading. They've lost their last two matches, 3-2. Ian Hart with the ball forward here. Shane Long is in behind Mariapa and pulls back the cross for Noel Hunt. And Reading lead, 15 minutes in. And it's a third goal in successive matches for Noel Hunt. Fit again and firing once more in the Reading front line. And the visitors take the lead at Vicarage Road. Charge down. Long is away from Mariapa. He has support arriving in the middle but tried to go it alone and unable Taylor to get back and make the challenge. Long to give chase and to get away from Mariapa. Again, Lokes to the rescue and then it's over the bar from Karakent. Plenty forward for Reddick. There's Long, brilliant skill and then wonderful improvisation from Max Gradle. Still dangerous, it's Mackenough. Lead to Vive and win themselves a free kick. An Irishman can surge forward. Looking to pick somebody out, it's Schmeichel again to the rescue. Mackenough, some plenty of the ball in the opening exchanges here. And then curls that one goalwards, it just needed a touch. It's glanced wide by Shane Long in the end. Shane Long, will it break for him on the edge of the box? It will, and it's a fraction wide. Mackenough again goes cross field this time. Jimmy Quebec, his first start since October. Plays it in towards Long, and this time he's denied by the post. But he's getting closer. It was a long ago that these two were Premier League opposition. 2007-2008 season. This is Long. Oh, that must be a penalty. And is... Sean Barker tugging back. Shane Long, Long who won it, will take it. And will score it as well. It is first blood to Reading. Fine penalty beyond Bywater who went the right way, but he was just too hard to handle, too much pace on it. It comes in and it's off the woodwork. Well, Shane Long, free header. Next goal you feel will win this. Is he going to fall for? McEnough. It's Long! Reading have got it! Shane Long with his eighth of the season. It could be an absolute crucial one. The context of this match. Reading lead again. A delightful ball from McEnough to search out Long in between two defenders and nods it home. It's second of the afternoon. Could be the three points for Reading. Griffin's free kick. It's not the best. Doesn't beat the front man. So scrappy around that penalty area. Oh, but that's really poor. Shane Long's in. He supplies Noel Hunt. And Reading have turned this game on his head. Noel Hunt will not have an easier goal in his career. And from close range, he makes it 2-1. Credit to Shane Long, he was so quick thinking. And just put it in that area where David James had no chance of reaching. Really took the wind out of Bristol City sails. And Long plays a nice ball out to that far side. He continues his run into the penalty area. Headed into the path of Long. Oh, what a miss. Cut out with ease. 
complained, so that should have been a free kick. Shane Long certainly isn't going to stop anytime soon. Surely this is his goal, it is. 3-1 Reading. And Shane Long on 66 minutes has just made life increasingly difficult for Bristol City. Such quick feet from their top scorer this season. They were chasing and chasing, but in off that post. On his way to Long. He shows some strength. Well, he's got that in his locker, isn't he? Held off the defender and found the bottom corner. It's his second, and he has been in superb form. No doubt the driving force behind this comeback. Shane Long doesn't look like he could hold off a defender like that. He does. David James gets nowhere near it. Searching an equaliser. This is Kebe. That could be a penalty, you know. And it is. Referee points to the spot. Shane Long. Well denied by Vita Manone. Have to say, it wasn't the greatest of penalties. Swung in by Jimmy Kebe. Everybody missed it. Shane Long couldn't get a touch. And in the end, it scrambled but behind by Angel Rangel. Good ball in by Kebe. Everybody missed it. Shane Long just couldn't apply the finish. Makanov with the ball forward. Long's onside. They're desperately appealing for an offside. It isn't to be. It's an equaliser for Reading. Well, he's been absolutely superb this season. And Shane Long, just three minutes after Reading go behind, makes it 1-1. Arm went up straight away from Clark Carlisle. It was certainly ambitious. Grant started to come out. But it was a neat drive beyond him. They've got something to sing about now, haven't they? Long, fabulous first touch. He's so quick in behind every single time. But he drags his effort wide. He feels there's a push there. Makanov's corner. Long jumps, long scores, 2-1 Reading. And they've turned this game on its head. 22 minutes remaining. And he's not the tallest, is he? But Shane Long was the most aware inside that six-yard box. Eastern flat-footed. They have the lead. The Albion's defensive weaknesses were once again exposed as they fell to a narrow defeat to championship outfit Reading. Shane Long's seventh goal in six outings proved to be enough for the Royals. Latching on to Noel Hunt's flick on, the Irishman finished well beyond the despairing Boaz Myhill. To compound their misery, Jonas Olsen was given his marching orders after fouling Shane Long. given away on the edge of the penalty area and Kebe sets free and it's a lovely ball down the line for Shane Long real opportunity here and Reading on the counter attack take the lead and Shane Long nips in it's his fourth goal in three matches and 14th of the season and their much coveted striker keeps a cool head but Reading in front just short of the half hour mark. Ricci, right on the edge of his area, gets the ball downfield. It's long. Skips past one challenge, and his shot's over the crossbar. It's a great ball looking for long. Penalty. Considered by Guzan. Just going to be a talking to by the referee. Shane Long got himself in a great position. There is contact, and it's a definite penalty. Upsets Ian Hart, 1-1. Well, relief for Reading, they are back on level terms. They do like to leave it late, Reading, and they've done it again, Ian Hart from the penalty spot. No fairy tale this time, as a late Shane Long strike gave Reading a relieving 2-1 victory, ending Stevenage's memorable cup run. Oh, Walters, persistence pace. Shane Long, chance here. And David Duff makes it two. Crafted by Walters, assisted by Long, and finished by Duff. And that's two goals in seven minutes, which should surely decide the outcome.
and the mistake it looks like got by Gunter and was messing around with the ball in the box as Walters puts him under a lot of pressure gets a little touch on and rolls it across for Long who miss kicks it and Duff slots it away very well with his right foot but Gunter has got to deal with this he's got to get it away this is international football if you make a mistake this is what happens okay just to get beyond Ward he's bearing down on goal good cut back and it's a good goal Shane Long does finish it and 26 on the clock it's 1-1 Shane Long the Republic of Ireland international McEnough Shane Long he's done well here Long and Reading take the lead Shane Long scored at the weekend in defeat at Norwich and with eight minutes to go could that be the goal that gives them victory here against Sheffield United his excellent goal scoring season continues the Reading fans sheltering from the rain but they'll be delighted to see their side take the lead lovely ball through from McEnough Long's touch just took him away from Alan Perino it's a great finish McEnough Mansick go through the centre McEnough might not need him here's Shane Long that's a fine save from Simerson to deny a certain winner for Shane Long it was Morrison and it's Jimmy Abdu trying to come across the park but the Royals clear the ball downfield Shane Long now chance to run with the ball and he's got the pace there of Robinson the captain a cross coming in not a bad cross going to deflect here Hunt on his left foot goal brilliant volley Noel Hunt has given us a dream start in the third minute of the game two minutes 50 seconds on the clock Cummings, Kebe in a tight spot on the right hand side, but he's beaten his man, he's cut inside well, he feeds it out here to Noel Hunt, Hunt on the right hand side, delivers a cross here, and he runs, brilliant finish, Shane Long, great cross, and Shane Long has scored with a brilliant right foot shot on the turn, he's given the keeper no chance, Hunt's beautiful cross, Kebe made it, and then Hunt put a brilliant cross in, and Shane Long the top scorer has met it on the half volley, to smack it into the corner. Reading, he come away with it though. Launch long for Shane Long to chase. McCarthy is with him. McCarthy's challenge is penalised with a penalty. Referee Bates points to the spot. Chance for Reading to get back in there. Shane Long won the penalty and scores the penalty. And Crystal Palace concede at home for the first time in 13 hours of football. Still, they continue those protests as their proud record is ended in somewhat controversial fashion but a really good spot kick from Shane Long to beat Spironi still plenty of time for more of course as Reading probe for an equaliser it's Jimmy Kebe on the all level 2-2 just four minutes into the second half Shane Long who scored the first from the spot has made the second for Jimmy Kebe his sixth of the season and the Royals have come from two down Great technique to steer that into the corner. Reading very much in the ascendancy at the moment and they scored again. It's another goal for Shane Long. 16 in the league now this season for the Irishman. Completely unmarked and a free header pass Ripley. Long. In on goal again for number five for Reading. Ripley stays on his line. And it's 5 1 to Reading. Lost just one in their last 12 here at the Medeski. And they're cruising to victory over Borough. There's a corner towards Shane Long. And he scores again. Goal number 20 this season for Shane Long. For so long, lived in the shadow of Kevin Doyle and Dave Kitson at Reading. It's a nice play again by the Irishman. Full of confidence at the moment. Beaten out by Fulop. Howard for the side foot, but side foot's just wide. Brian Howard. 
Known by Karachan. Well, Noel Hunt in on goal here. It's one on one with the keeper and rounding Martin Fulop. And into the empty net for Noel Hunt. It's the Irish connection for Reading. Long heart and Hunt. And Reading lead 3 0. And the points are going back to Barkship. Long with a measured pass through to Noel Hunt, who timed his run perfectly. It switched defence court square. And Hunt rolled it into the empty net. Swinging towards Long. Chasing to the corner from Shane Long, who's nicked it away from Nathan Doyle. He's got Manset with him. It's Manset! And Reading take the lead. He's only been on the field five minutes, Matteo Manset. And puts Reading in front with 19 minutes to go. Good work from Shane Long. Did well to keep the ball in play. Manset just pulled away. Smith, who've won seven of the last nine games. Best away record in the championship against Sides in the top half, but it's Reading who get themselves the opening goal. Shane Long on half an hour. And when Reading score first this season, they don't lose. From range, straight through Jamie Ashdown. Starts it up from Brian Howard. He's linked with a move away from the club and he's managed to play in. Shane Long here, that'll be a penalty. Now, what's the referee going to produce? What colour? It's red. Ricardo Rush has been sent from the field here. Last man, professional foul. Long scores. Renning make it two. Well, maybe he should have been a free kick, but... Damage has been done, and Reading have a comfortable lead at the moment. Long. Macken up in the centre, cross took a deflection, and headed in by Jimmy Kebe. Well, Kebe's been a provider on a number of occasions this season. This time, it's Shane Long, the provider. Kebe puts Reading in front, midway through the first half. Karachan, storming finish this from Reading. Going in search of another goal. There's a big appeal for handball. And another penalty. That's all going wrong for Forrest. And Reading's top scorer, Shane Long, with a chance to make absolutely certain. Good save by Camp. Forrest still have to press forward. Not the best penalty in the world from Shane Long. Down the line again for... Jimmy Kebe, who's got the legs on Sam Togwell, in towards Long! Shane Long gets goal number 26 of an improving season. He's one of the main reasons Reading have... flown up the table, in at the near post, beat Joe Murphy. Mansit. Karachan, a little bit of space for Jem Karachan. Here's Shane Long, tripped... In the penalty area by Michael Nelson. And the referee, no hesitation, Andy Woolmer. It's a penalty to Reading. And a chance for Ian Hart to edge Reading even closer to victory, which he does. They lead by two goals to nil. And Brian McDermott's side heading for a seventh straight win. And they could be just three points behind the automatic promotion places. Well taken penalty from Hart. Keeper guess right. Hoping for an offside flag, Long is allowed to continue and it's a good burst of pace from Long and he's got round the back and Kebe scores! Well Kebe may take the plaudits but the thanks must go to Shane Long. It's Reading's first attempt of the afternoon and they've scored from it. Look at this from Long, he just puts his foot on the gas and he's away. Round the back, looks up, sees the options available and it's an undefendable cross and Kebe makes it 1-0 to Reading. And it goes to Long, terrific build up, this is Hunt! Reading lead after nine minutes. Need the points themselves of course as they chase second place and automatic promotion.
the perfect start. Sweeping move, he was onside, and boy, he finished that well. Between these two, they've drawn six of the last eight meetings. And it just shows you how little there is between the two as Bywater races from goal, and one knocks it back in. It's Reading who take a massive step towards Wembley, and it's Bywater who has to admit it was his error. Well, it's certainly a mistake from the goalkeeper. Cardiff defensively all over the place, but if any one player was going to change the course of this game, all this time maybe, it was Shane Long, because he reacts so quickly. He doesn't put his head down at all. He always thinks he's got a chance of getting on the end of this. He's played back from Canaan initially. It hits McNaughton, and then he's on his way, Shane Long. He's always aware of what might happen. The ball might just fall to him, and that is a quite brilliant finish. He's under pressure. He has to steady himself, he has to check where the goal is, and he has to score. And he does it all quite brilliantly. Was there a handball maybe in that, though? That's the big question, but it's certainly a tidy finish. It's along the ground, and that could be a penalty. It is! The referee had no hesitation. And it's a yellow card as well, and despite the Cardiff protests... Well, this could absolutely change everything for Cardiff and Reading. There's definitely a pull. He gets away, Mills, from Kanan. He's actually blocked off Kanan. He can't stay with him, and he just pulls him back. And You just cannot do that as a defender. He has already scored six penalties this season. The Irishman, they bought from Cork City, whose goals fired Reading into the playoff places in the first place, whose goal earlier in the half gave them the lead who now has a wonderful opportunity to put two goals between them and Cardiff City. It's long against Bywater again. It's 2-0 to Reading. They can see the famous arch of Wembley now. Well, the coolest man in the Cardiff City Stadium was that number nine, Shane Long. Absolutely no panic at all. He's relaxed when he takes this penalty. He lets uh, Bywater go one way and then just strokes it the other. Ashley Williams certainly having pressure applied to him. He hits Long again. He's right in the thick of it. Jimmy Kebe back across goal. De Vries has spilled it. It's still not clear. Referee Phil Dowd was being looked to by all the Swansea players. He didn't blow his whistle. This is a super start from Reading. It was panic, wasn't they? Because Swansea just didn't clear the line. Shane Long hustled and Harry got the ball to Kebe. That's a great ball in that De Vries doesn't deal with. And then Joe Allen doesn't get it clear. It's charged down. Long. Carachan! Back off the post! And Hunt was touching it goal, but it came off long. Kebe blocked away by Tate. Well, they couldn't have come much closer to an equaliser than that. And this is unlucky, lovely strike, takes a deflection, comes back off the post. And then Noel Hunt thinks he's rolling it into the empty net, but Gary Monk's right boot saves the day for Swansea. From Cymru to Wembley to Premier League, Brendan Rodgers has taken Swansea City back to the elite. The Premier League for the first time. We'll have a representative from Wales. The land of poets and singers and famous men of renown have Swansea City to represent them at the top table.